Hey guys, as some of you may know, the last drummer Nirvana had prior to hiring Dave Grohl was Dan Peters of Mudhoney. The guys in Mudhoney and Nirvana were of course friends and toured with each other, so having Dan Peters as the drummer in Nirvana made sense in a lot of ways. Despite this, however, Kurt and Chris ultimately elected to go with Dave Grohl as their permanent new drummer in the late summer of 1990. Reflecting on their decision to go with Dave Grohl over Dan Peters, Kurt Cobain said the following in November of 1990, quote, it wasn't that we were unhappy with Dan's drumming. It was just that Dave has qualities which match our needs a little closer. Dave takes care of backing vocals for a start. We were blown away when we saw him playing with this band called Scream a few months ago, and Chris and I agreed that we'd ask him to join Nirvana if we ever had the chance. Ironically, that chance came a week after we got Danny in. It was a stressful situation, but it now looks like Dan will rejoin Mudhoney and they'll carry on as before. They're one of our favorite groups, and the idea of that band stopping because of Dan coming over to us had caused us considerable distress. End quote. Now, to Dan Peters' credit, he was a good sport about the situation. Dan Peters was present at Nirvana's famous performance at the off-ramp in Seattle on November 25, 1990. Reflecting on the show, Dan once said the following, quote, I thought they were great. I thought they had made the complete right decision. When I saw Dave, it made complete sense to me why he was the drummer and I wasn't. End quote. Nirvana's performance that night at the off-ramp is often considered one of the band's most important shows ever for various reasons. I did a video about the off-ramp show. If you want to see that video, the link is available in the description box below.